Apple just announced the release date for iOS 13, but you can get it on your device starting today with this simple trick. Now there are two ways to go about it. If you want dark mode and better picture editing early, a week early, you just go to the settings menu and then go down to general. So you hit general right here. You go to software update and it'll tell you if iOS 13 is available. Now this says iOS 12.4 is the latest one available and we've already updated to that. So it's not quite available for us yet. So we'll have to do it the, the harder way, but that's, that's the easiest way to find it if the release date has passed. So we are going to go to beta.apple.com. Now the first misstep that a lot of people make is that they go to Google Chrome and try to download the profile to download iOS 13. Well, it won't work in Google Chrome. You have to use Safari. So we've buried Safari all the way over here and we're gonna go to beta.apple.com. Look for this blue sign up button. So we're gonna hit that button and it's gonna take us to the menu where you insert your username and password. So I'm gonna head and go ahead and uh, type in my email and my password. Sometimes it'll be saved with Face ID, which saves you a little bit of time. Click the sign in button. It'll give you a verification code. Uh, mine happens to be 054054. Uh, pretty e easy to remember. That's a two-step verification in case you have that enabled. So I'm on the beta.apple.com page. I've logged in already. The iOS tab is right here. Very easy to miss, but over here, enroll your devices. That's where you wanna go. It's so easy to miss. Um, and the first thing that they suggest for you to do is archive a backup. You wanna back up your phone. So iTunes is the best way, it's the safest way, but I've backed up my phone to uh, the iCloud. That should be good enough. Uh, hopefully everything works out, but you are dealing with preview software. So it is the public beta, it's pretty safe. So after you're done backing everything up, you wanna install the profile. Now, installing the profile will get you the software um, after a brief restart of your phone. So installing the profile, it says ignore or allow, definitely hit allow and the profile has downloaded. So that's a pretty quick thing. And then the next thing you'll wanna do is go to your device, go to the settings tab and see if the software update is available. So the first thing you wanna do after downloading the profile is go to profiles and go to the iOS 13 beta profile and hit install. I'll type in my passcode and it'll have a whole bunch of terms of service that you're, you're never gonna read. After putting your passcode, you wanna hit install in the top right corner. You'll notice the theme here. It asks you if you do wanna install it just to make sure. Yes, we do. Uh, and then it'll ask you if you want to restart your phone. So the profile is installed. The software is not quite updated yet until the phone restarts. And then we'll have the ability to update to iOS 13. So now the phone's restarted, the profile's installed, and what we'll need to do next is go back to that general tab right here in the settings menu, go to software update, and there it is, iOS 13.1 public beta 2. You may have different versions available depending on when you're doing this, and also if you're a developer, they have some different versions, but the fact that it says iOS 13, that's what we want. So you hit the downloading button, and it'll download the software and it'll restart your phone, give you one more confirmation. And then all of a sudden you have iOS 13. We haven't experienced too many bugs in the public beta. So if you wanna take a dive into the public beta a week before the actual release date of iOS 13, now's your chance to do it. Enjoy iOS 13 uh, on your older devices. You don't need an iPhone 11 just to get some brand new software and uh, stay tuned to TechRadar for more iPhone 11 and iOS 13 coverage.